Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 384, which is a super hard level, where we have to collect five sets of striped candies that we strike against each other. We've got 45 moves to do it, and we've got ticking time bombs set at 10. Now the reason I'm so excited about this is I like these challenges. I know they're tough, um, but I like trying to make stripes that I set against each other. Uh, but I am a little bit worried about this, and I don't have any good things set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the building. Oh, shoot, what level was I on? <laughs> was it a super hard level? It wasn't a super hard level, was it? Let's see. Oh, it is listed as a super hard level. Okay. So I'm going to come back in, and now I can actually make a stripe right away, and it's something that's aimed toward one of these ticking time bombs. Now, oh gosh, I have more ticking time bombs coming down. Now, I could try to set it up so that um, I had an even better intro than that, but I like this one. Let's see what else I might be able to do. Huh. I think I'm going to go ahead and shoot through this, open this up, and get my first set right away. Start taking out these ticking time bombs and make my second set. Now I've got the potential to get my third set. Nope, not quite. But now I've cleared out a lot, and look at this. I can make more of these specials here, these stripes. And I might be able to still make a color bomb, and I've got another color bomb. And color bombs, we get color bombs and other specials. So let's see what I can do with all of this here. Okay. I don't want to set these together. I would have a lot of stripes, but none of them coordinated with each other. This is disconcerting to me. I need to do something about this, and I can't reach green right away. So how can I get to green? I might have to use this with this. It's getting to be a bit tricky. Maybe I can bring a green down here. There we go. So now I have a green down here. And now let's see if I've put together any of these stripes. Well, I can do this. I've got this set at two. That's the problem here is I've got too much volatility on this board. So let's take out all red and see if any of these stripes get together. I'm hoping for these. There we go. And now I've got another thing here. That's gone. So now I've got about eight or nine moves before I have to worry about any more of these guys. Well, fewer than that before I have to worry about them, but before it becomes really problematic. So let's see what I can do in that time. I can make some stripes here. Huh. I can make a stripe here, although it'll probably be set off. Yeah, that was kind of a stupid move, but I don't know. It was fun. Okay, so I have a stripe here, but that's off to the side quite a bit. I have a stripe here, and that's more centrally located. I have a stripe here, but everything's too volatile. Actually, I'm going to do this and kind of get rid of some things here. Clean this up a bit. Now I've still got to worry about this, but I've got a stripe here poised to help me out a little bit. Here, I can make this stripe. I can... I can get that down there. I'm in danger. I have to take this out. Okay, so we're going to start fresh. Still have 23 moves and two of these left to do. We should be able to get this right. I'm going to take this out and make a new one. Yeah, I have the opportunity to make color bombs. I don't know that color bombs are terribly helpful on this board. They're slightly helpful on this board, but what I really need to do is concentrate on these orders here and not die. Here we go, not dying. There, not dying. Oh, 
Wow. I'm just going to wait for that to finish playing. Solitaire. I have a lot of stripes over here, but they're all orange, and that's not a good setup. But it does take out this four, so I'm going to do this. I can make another orange one. Take out an orange and make another. And now if I take out all red from the board, maybe these will drop down into position together and not get blown up. Okay, got it. Well, I can see why this was listed as a super hard level. Thankfully, though, that only took me one playthrough to get it. So I'm very happy about that. But I can see where this would be very, very difficult. What you need to do is concentrate first on getting into this interior portion here, even if it means setting yourself up with a better situation than you originally dealt, and then using those stripes in there to give yourself a head start, and then just keeping ahead of all of those ticking time bombs as they come up. If you've got hammers, then if they start to get um, too close and you can't reach them on your own, you can use a hammer to help take them out so you have time to work on getting those striped candies. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.